Hey everyone, it's Brooke, and I'm here today to do a book review for the second book I read in 2017, and that is Beth Lewis's The Wolf Road. Um, this is a book I didn't know much about going in, but I absolutely loved it, and it sort of shocks me how much I loved it. I, it's about a girl who when she is seven, she is swept up in this storm, and she lands in the middle of a forest, and a man who lives in in a, like a cabin nearby takes her and raises her from the ages of 7 to 17. Now this land is a post-apocalyptic Canada and basically the idea is that the Cold War essentially actually was a real war, became a real nuclear war and pretty much everything was devastated. Uh, but anyway, she's she's been raised by this kind of gruff you know, wild, even man. She's she's pretty feral herself. They've lived off the land. And at 17, she goes into town, and there's this, like, badass lady sheriff, or, like, detective there, and basically tells her that this person she's come to know as her father uh, is a serial killer, and she goes on the run. And that's where the story really starts, because that all happens pretty early on. And uh, it becomes this... People have sort of likened it to like a cross between True Grit and The Road. It's very much a, a, a journey um, uh, on foot through the wilderness. So if you like nature scenes and animals and small town stops and meeting interesting people along the way, kinds of like almost like road trip stories, you'll like this. It's written in dialect and first person. Um, so... Her name is Elka, the main character. So you kind of, you really get into her head. The dialect is not nothing that's super hard to read. Um, it's just what you might imagine a girl who's had no formal education might speak like. Um, and I really enjoyed her as... First person can be so tricky because you're in someone's head the entire time. And if that person is annoying, the reading experience is going to be annoying. And I was not annoyed by Elka. She just, she's smart and she's strong. Um, but she's also very vulnerable at times. She makes mistakes, and then she also wins at times. It's just, she is a really compelling character. She, I cared about her, wanted to keep turning the page and know what happened next. Uh, it's, it is, it's like character and plot heavy, I guess. Um, it has moments where it's really quiet and really slow. I've read reviews where people are like, nothing happens in the first 70 pages, so I just quit. Um, but it's a book that, if you like kind of a slow, meandering journey to like big moments that make those big moments really matter, this is really, really good at that. Um, crazy plot twists happen along the way. You find out so many interesting revelations along the way. Um, she makes a female friend along the way that you could totally ship if you wanted to, even though the book doesn't necessarily take that turn for warning. It's just, um, I think there are two girls that you could, you could read a lot into the relationship. Um, there's just, it's so interesting, the story she tells, and none of it was what I, was what I expected, especially the end. And I've seen some people complain that it, it kind of left the reality, the, like, boundaries of reality, and they couldn't quite get on board with some of the decisions and the revelations she makes at the end, but I loved all of them. I thought the ending was bold. Um, I thought it took some guts to make some of the decisions she made. Um, and I, and, and in that way, the way it completely subverted my expectations, I was just, I had a blast and I loved it so much. Um, and I thought the ending was great. So yeah, there is some violence against women in this, full disclosure. Um, so if that's, but I will say there's some really great revenge scenes too. So if that's your bag, it's here. Um, so yeah, there's some violence and things in this for sure. But I thought none of it was gratuitous. I thought everything had its place and its purpose. And this was just a really engaging, fun read to start the year with. So it gets a full, um, recommendation for me. I would absolutely reread it again if I just wanted to go on this adventure all over again. And I think you could even see things early on in the book from the revolution revelations in the back that could, you know, make you read it differently the second time. Um, I just, I really liked this a lot and it gets my full recommendation. So read it.